Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me for another episode. So, on this episode, we're going to be trying to move our troops and reconsolidate some of our our power here. So, for one, since um, since we have Magna Gratia um, once again under control here, I'm actually going to uh, move this army uh, north, and hopefully in the next turn we'll put them in uh, northern Italy here and then we'll um, keep them there for maybe a couple turns and then we'll move them up into this territory so if we do go to war with the uh, Scooby Scooby <laughs> um, then we'll have another army that at our disposal there to move up into their territory um, but we'll need Rome to once again, fall under our control as well, so I'm going to move this army up north. Perhaps, actually, just straight into Rome. And then we have our southern front, which um, I would like to move this army into this location, but we're going to start getting some unhappiness here, so I might just wait a turn. Let's see if we can get this guy into a regular stance and there we go. So that should help out a little bit. We could actually probably take this guy off um, that stance and have him move into this city as well. So that's a bit better. Um, only in a few turns here, about two turns, um, that happiness should be curved and, and this unrest um, should be taken under tow there. Uh, something else that we were doing, actually, um, whoops, we finally got most of our, un our unhappiness under control, as you can see, um, this one's actually at plus four, so not a problem there, and our region's growth uh, has really slowed down in just a ton of these regions, so what we did was we actually went into some of these regions that didn't have any growth anymore and uh... Well, this isn't one of them there it is so we took um... the latrines out and we actually are starting to put in fountains they'll give us a plus three public order and plus four for our cultural influence while the latrines give us only plus two public order and two cultural influence but they give us more growth so since those territories are no longer growing that doesn't matter anymore so um, on a few of these like this one that's still growing we're gonna leave that but in this territory that stopped growing we've actually changed it so we've had that in a few of our territories that we've swapped out so hopefully that'll curve some unrest as well as you can see in this territory as well so that is the idea behind that. Uh, currently we're researching the tactical drills. Should have probably done it earlier, but we really had no problem with that, but we'll continue our military uh, domination through that tactic, and we'll probably go for the battering ram next, um, just to make our sieges easier for us as well. And um, after that I'm thinking we're going to go for um, this technology to give us the extra plus four cultural conversion and the uh, thirty percent wealth from culture, which isn't a lot, but it's something you know that'll help us out here. Now uh, we're making a okay amount of money, so not too bad. It looks like we have a little rebel army here, kind of building up. Oh, that's actually um. And these guys' territory, I wonder how, how unhappy they are. Pretty darn unhappy. Negative 80, but they're getting plus 20 a turn right now, so they should curve that. And we're at negative 27 here, um, but hopefully with a couple of these addition additional buildings and then um, a few turns should quell them. Yeah, 25 uh, next turn only, so that shouldn't be too bad. Oops. Um, I don't think there was too much else I need to do before we change our next turn, but let me just check on our spy status here. 
And uh, she's all taken care of, taken care of. And um, unfortunately, this territory is losing some happiness, but that should stop here soon as well. And then we can hopefully finally start moving out um, some of our other army forces here once these territories come under our wing. So let's end this turn and uh, see what happens in our next one here. Hopefully the uh, the Britons won't attack us anytime soon. But I did piss them off quite a bit. I'm actually glad that Sparta has come around and reconsolidate, reconsolidated their power. I'm just terrible at these uh, sea battles. Are they actually trying to, like, invade us? Is that what they're doing? Hmm. Do they actually have any ships? No, not really. Okay, we'll go ahead and take control of this battle. We'll see how that works. The Lords of War, the Old Men of the Desert, and the Children of the Sun. I don't think I'd want to be either one of the last two. The Old Men of the Desert doesn't sound too threatening. And the Children of the Sun just sounds like a very hot and miserable existence. I don't know. Absorb a lot of rays there. Let me get some sunscreen. Gotta get that UV protection, you know. <laughs> well, our garrison army of 1,240 outnumbers them all together. So, I don't know how, how well they actually think they're going to do here. Uh, did they start in a fog? Yeah, they started in a fog. What jerks. Well, put our assault ships there. And this will be a uh, control two for us. We'll just have them. Uh, spread out along this coastline here. Actually, that looks a little better. Plebs. Silly plebs. I don't think these plebs are gonna do us any good. <laughs> we'll just keep them for, um, for mop up troops. Legionaries! Your orders. There we go. Alright. And then we'll have this as a control one. Where's our general at? General, you can go over here. There we go. Alright, let's start this. We'll just head out and start attacking these guys. And they're on fire at will. Perfect. See how many shots we can get off on these guys. Doing a good amount there. 
At least making their shields heavy with our javelins. You know what we might want to do is just kind of gang up on these one guys right here. Gang up on this guy here too a little bit. Yeah, these guys are getting mauled here. Getting uh, one of our guys that is, has run. Uh oh, we're going to get rammed here. Yep. Well, it's about time that our Navy got to some use here. We'll attack these. One of our ships is being boarded. Oh well. It's fine. This uh this navy's doing exactly what it's supposed to. Just Oops. We're making a few of their their units route as well, so I don't see anything. I don't see too much wrong going on here. Just as long as our general doesn't die, we'll be alright. Our admiral, I suppose. Yeah, we're getting rammed pretty hard there. <laughs> Oh well. These guys are cheap. You can always replenish their numbers. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Uh, these uh, last few units here are going to be completely overwhelmed. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, that One ship's actually ship sinking. So I don't know why everyone just jumped out. And we'll just make sure that our uh, our general here. Gets out of the way. And these guys are completely gone. Alright. Well, like I said, I'm not too good at the ship battles. Oh. What the heck? These guys get here. Send our plebs out. Hmm. I'll have to send out one of these guys as well. I didn't see where they came from. Okay, well, let's start this again here. I'd imagine that these guys would at some point land, and since they're all pretty much archers, I'd like to meet them right on the shoreline. These guys are 
fast for us here. We'll have to pull our general back to defend this location as well. We'll have the admiral defend the beachhead. Yeah. An entire unit has perished. Not. We'll get out of the formation here. So we can actually run for it. And we'll. S let's see. Our men flee the field of battle. Man, I don't even know why I have these plebs. Those guys were completely ridiculous. Are they lost a victory point? Not even attempting the land here. We'll put these guys back in a formation. Have them attack. Looks like they, ah, right after they got that victory point, they just ran. Gotta fire a couple of shots on these guys. Where are these guys going? All right, enough messing around. Generals should be doing all right over here against these guys. Not too bad. Oh, speed this up here a little bit. Check back on this army. We uh, these guys need reinforcements. Hopefully this general can inspire them. And we'll hit these guys as well. Actually, we'll send... Nope. Okay. Whatever. If they want to run, that's fine. Have our general reinforce him too, because he's... These guys are definitely not doing too well. Try to inspire them a bit. Make sure they don't run. Well, at least we've crushed those forces. And our other general here can attack this force. And it looks like their, yeah, their ships are going to come and try to dock right there. These guys are going to break here any second. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Attack those just for a sec and then we'll pull off and attack this army here. And we'll pull our levies back and have them at least fire a couple of pot shots off. Yeah, now that they're surrounded, the morale should just be completely crushed. And we'll 
we'll move our forces out. Make sure that we get into formation. Looks like we're losing this victory point. I can't attack him though. There we go. This is what I was hoping for. They're coming from here. Docking over here. Alright. In the name of Rome. Double time. Advance speed. General. How many forces do they have over here? Mainly just the archers, so. If our, um, our infantry troops can hit him, that'll be pretty much it. We'll have these two guys attack here, and then these two guys attack here. I'm gonna hate to see how how bad our navy got destroyed there. Oh, we're surrounding these. I don't the enemy where are these guys even going. Dead. archers. Uh, where are they going? They're just running for the hills? Take these guys out of formation here. Getting a couple of shots on us, but once we engage these forces, it should be over quite fast for them. How is that random army that's running away from us? We'll send uh, these guys out over here and you can just fire a couple of shots at those and it looks General, like this is now one of our completely used all its ammunition. under our control oops sorry about that and I don't have any um, any cavalry units so there's no point in trying to continue that battle because I can't chase them down Wow, that was the one that sucked to lose. That's uh, just really poor gameplay on my behalf. I mean, I probably just should have landed them and used them on the ground there to attack them. You know, uh, the casualties at 120, 138, you know, I should have done something different with those. That was just a bad game plan. Yeah, especially losing that 
forest there. That's too bad. So, we'll enslave him. And that should be a pretty crushing defeat for them. I was hoping to try to have him become a client state of mine. So hopefully after that battle, they might be, uh, they might want to come into our, under our wing a little bit more. And uh, we'll have to hire uh, some troops here now. Hire a couple of those guys. And let's look at our construction report. Nice. So we have uh, one of these groves done and another one. Perfect. And the gladiator school. That should help out. And now they're at plus 11 pretty good uh, we'll have a temple of uh, or a shrine of Jupiter here yeah, that's that consecrated grounds oh somebody tried to sabotage us how dare the they battle. wonder if our guy can Attempt to let's see assassinate. Eh, yeah, it's worth a shot. Perfect. My power knows no bounds. That's awesome. Get them out of there. Oh, and he gained uh, a level for it as well. Perfect. That's pretty good. We'll do that. And sober. And he gained something. Awesome. I think they're dead. Yep. Alright. So all in all, not too bad. So let's try to go into neg uh, negotiations with these guys. Be welcome, I suppose. Now speak as you will, and try to be interesting. And, uh, make them a client state. And I also want one of their territories. Well, shoot, I wanted that territory. So, we may just have to kind of move our forces out and take it. Twenty-two. We may have to wait until next turn, unfortunately, to be able to... Because we used our uh, champion here. And if I move out into here, and then I'll have to just move the champion to there, and we still won't have enough room to attack. So, and uh, we'll put these guys a little closer here. We'll lose our our happiness, but there we go. So at least that way, if they do it, there there's no chance for them to even begin to think about attacking us there. Oh wow, it's pretty good, yeah. I'll ever be able to do some arson work? Sounds good. Only two more turns before our units get upgraded. Let's check out our provinces. See who's the angriest with us. 
that's coming around nicely um, want this one to be food and unfortunately we'll need the uh, we're either going to have to do the field of Mars here or here and here we'll have to destroy a building to, t to put it in so we'll just go ahead and do it here and we'll keep those two or there's like three plus happiness buildings in the uh, in the main town so I think that'll be alright and let's see who else is failing of course Africa now is a little bit because we move those forces out and then we have oh they actually are going down to one lower mmm hopefully here in a couple turns it'll turn around again we're at 55 right now, so not too bad. We'll stack this army into Rome. And we'll pull uh, this army into our northern territories. That should help out. And I want to try to get... Um, as much population into here as is possible um, so we'll have to leave that army in there and I would like to keep the latrines in there as well for now um, we'll probably build a gladiator here in Rome that way we can build uh, like the Colosseum or something like that later on And let's check out on a couple of our spy units here and whatnot. No, that guy's done. My spirits are yours. She could possibly sabotage something. Recruitment. So they have two different things of recruitment. That probably gives him some happiness here. Let's check out 10% chance of being wounded. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and try it. I do enjoy a little sabotage. Ah, she was wounded. Of course. Okay. Well, let's see if our next buy can do a little better. We'll actually have this spy. Yeah, we don't have any information on here. And if we could possibly get Britain out of here, that would be great. So we'll just move our spy up and see what we can what we can see at least. And that army is going to be trying to build up its forces again. Let's see if we can move any of these other armies that are in France out of here. Uh, hopefully at least this army. There we go. Now we got plus 13 there and this one's still at plus 5. And we'll move that one into uh, the capital there. And let's see what else we could possibly build here to help increase them. Doesn't really look like a lot until maybe we can do like some latrines or something like that. Unless we want to tear down one of these buildings. But they're big money makers for us. Once we get up to seven, then we can put in some latrines and that should help out some Let's see if there's anyone else so we can move around here 
I think that might do it for now. Because here we're getting plus 12, and that's 13. So, yeah, we'll leave these for now. And we don't have a lot of food. So I need to leave these cattle here as well. Uh, let's figure out what our next technology is for um, being able to upgrade our food. It's way up there, it looks like. Because there's the cattle ranch. and That'll help us get some more fish, possibly. Well, we've got two more turns for this, and then we'll try to do our siege as well. Whoops. Oh, actually, yeah, we're getting we're getting closer there. And it looks like um, we're at 34% for the Senate. So, a lot of people trust in us. So let's go ahead and uh, try to end one more turn here. Oh, and actually, um, I didn't even realize how long this episode was going. I just kind of got totally into it. So, right in the beginning of this uh, next turn here, I'll probably have to end it. And then uh, we'll start the next episode right there and see how, how much further we can go here. So, um, we are a mighty oh, people, uh -oh. well versed in the uses Amen. of wealth and power. And so we love gold. Do you guys even like me? Who are you with? Oh, their enemies is everyone. Trade agreement, non aggression pact. Let's rewrite this. I'm not going to pay you. No, I'm not even going to do that. No, you're at war with everyone. I... That sounds terrible. I don't want to piss any of those other guys off. Without being ready for them, that is, you know? So, in a moment now. Well, definitely uh, thank you everyone for uh, joining me for this episode. Sorry it was a little longer than normal. Like I said, I kind of totally got into the groove there. So, um, hope you guys join me back for the next one. Um, hopefully if I can go through about two more turns there, we should take over that last territory and get another, um, another little city-state under our command. Um, but until then, goodbye.